I run my own political consultancy firm and my contracted to Leave Means Leave uh, to organise their national ground campaign for them. My job is to organise events like protests outside Parliament, our canvassing campaign around the nation, our street stalls and our leafleting campaigns. Being here is about representing the 17.5 million people that voted to leave, which is I think it's good to be here because MPs need to see that actually this is something people still want. And the other side are here because they're protesting for the European Union, they want to remain in the European Union. I respect their position, I respect their right to protest, and I respect them, they're all lovely guys, we get along famously, but you know, we both want to put aside uh, across our, our positions, and you are right, we are unified in an extent, we both dislike Theresa May's deal. Leave means leave as an organisation. We advocate for no deal, no problem. We believe trading on World Trade Organisation terms will not be an issue for Britain. We're one of the largest, or, uh, largest economies on the planet. Why would it be a problem for us to trade in the same way the rest of the world does? For me, the campaign is about democracy. In 2016, 17 and a half million people, the largest democratic mandate in UK history, voted to leave the European Union. It is about fulfilment of that, and I'll say it now, I was actually on the other side in 2016. I voted to remain, I campaigned for remain. But that, I'm out here today because it would be wrong for anyone to ignore that many people's voices. Back in 2016, I voted remain, not dogmatically, I wasn't, you know, pro-Europe or anything. I voted remain because I thought I was voting for the status quo. And I thought I was voting for things that wouldn't change. But actually, what we've seen since 2016 is a European Union that has proven the leave point for them, actually. It, they're pushing further and further towards closer integration. They have vetoed the democratic government of Italy's budget. I, I don't understand how they can do that. The Italian government has a mandate, and yet the, the unelected European Commission said, no, you can't do what you promised people you would do. And that's not fair. They, they've shown that, actually, it's not just a trading organisation. It's not an organisation where members have a lot of say. They're moving in one direction, and Britain doesn't want to move that way. And it's my job as a as a Democrat to help, help ensure that Britain leads with the best terms possible. We were out here, we were protesting outside Parliament and it was very peaceful, it was very good natured. Uh, the Remainers who were on the other side of the square, we had a good time with them. You know, we shared biscuits, shared a bit of equipment when one of our, our cords snapped and we didn't have a spare. So it was all very good natured. On Monday, what we saw was some people who are very angry and they took it the wrong way. They, they went down the wrong path. They were completely and utterly unacceptable in what they did to Anna Subri as an MP. No one should ever face any abuse. And I abhor sort of aggressive tactics on both sides. But I do understand the anger. People legitimately feel like they're being silenced, like people aren't listening. And, you know, people lash out when they feel like that. And it, it's utterly unacceptable what they did. No one is ever going to dispute that, me personally. They were horrible to my guys as well because we weren't getting involved with what they were doing. So, you know, uh, there are ways to channel that anger. There are peaceful ways to do that, that people do take notice of. When I go back to my office at the end of one of our days protesting, we've had hundreds of phone calls and dozens of emails from people saying, I saw you on the news, thank you for being there. And it's about how you do it. It's about how you express your point. And, the only way to do that in a democracy is peacefully. As you can see, uh, people going past are still very passionate about this issue. And uh, I, I'm very grateful that we're allowed to protest in this area because it is a privilege, not a right to protest here. Yes, we have a right to protest, but MPs in there could quite easily say, actually, we don't want you protesting here. And, you know, keeping it peaceful means that we can do that.